Now, you may not know that about me, but I love Halloween, and especially <laughs> painting pumpkins. Now, it's been a few years that we have the digital pumpkin carving challenge, which is an amazing challenge, and this year is no exception. We'll do it again. And so in this video, I'll show you how I'm going to transform my last pumpkin, and this time what I want to do is to put a candle in it. Let's see if I can create something that looks realistic. First thing I'm going to do is to make the entire image darker, because I want to bring contrast between the candle light and the rest of the image. Also, light theory taught me that shadows are never black. There's always a thin or tone, basically some color in it. And in this case, I want to mimic the night sky, so I'm going to use a dark blue. Mm. Okay, this looks a little dark right now, but I believe that the candlelight is going to fix it all. I'll grab a couple of reference pictures to help me with it. I really just want the mouth and eyes to have the candlelight. So I'll first create a mask like this and fill it with orange. Not bad. All right, time to make it glow. Now to add believable lighting on our painting with digital painting, you are in luck. We have a few blending modes that we can use. Now my favorite one to do these kinds of effect is color dodge. So I'm going to try with color dodge first. And yes, it seems to work perfectly fine. Yay! Okay, let's add a new color dodge layer, and this time I'm going to add some yellow. It's going to help to make it even more glowing. This is looking perfect. Okay, now technically the light should bounce on the floor in front of the pumpkin. So let's add that. One thing I don't like right now is the pumpkin is so dark and the background are kind of merging together. I'm going to add another light source. Now I'm first going to create a mask of the entire pumpkin, and then I'm going to add a pale blue light at the back. Finally, I'm going to add a subtle rim light on the pumpkin to make sure that there's enough contrast between the background and the pumpkin itself. I'm just going to boost the contrast of the colors with a curve adjustment layer and voila, it, I'm pretty happy with the result guys. This is looking incredible, I think. Let me know what you think in the comments. Okay, I thought I could add some smoke getting out of the mouth and the eyes to make it even more like gloomy, scary, but I forgot to record the screen, so I'm going to just flip the layer that I just did, guys. Here you have it with the smoke, and here you have it without the smoke. Let me know which one you prefer. Also, be sure to participate in the challenge this year. I put all the details for the pumpkin carving challenge in the description of this video. We're going to have prizes for the participant. It's going to be amazing. I'm looking forward to see your pumpkin this year. And for the rest, happy painting, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Ciao.